Welcome to Sports Illustrated's Experts Quarter. I'm Andrew Perloff, and we're talking NFL Draft. Now, nothing's more exciting than when Roger Goodell comes up to the podium and announces a trade. I think we're going to see a lot of that this year. With a rookie slotting system, teams aren't afraid of top 10 picks like they used to be because they don't have to break the bank to sign them. We've already seen one move. St. Louis traded with Washington so the Redskins could move up and take RG3 at quarterback. I think we're going to see a few more moves. Now, there are rumors that teams might want to get up to number three with Minnesota and take Texas A&M quarterback Ryan Tannehill. Now, Minnesota said some things at the Combine that made you believe they're shopping that pick. The Vikings have so many needs that they don't need the number three pick. They can help their team throughout the first round. And that's a trend these days. It's more about stockpiling. Look at the New England Patriots. They always have multiple first round picks, and I think everybody wants to be like New England. You look at number four, Cleveland, another team with lots of needs. They have the four pick and the 22 pick. You know what? They could move down in the first round and get guys around 10 and 15 and really strengthen a lot of holes in their lineup. Or they can move up with that 22 and get a big time running back and a big time quarterback. Then you go to number five, Tampa Bay. You know, they like Trent Richardson, the running back. They like Justin Blackman, the wide receiver. But they need help on defense. I expect them to try and maybe look at moving down and filling several holes on the defensive side of the ball instead of taking one playmaker. And then you have to go down to number eight, Miami Dolphins. They're desperate for a quarterback. They're pretty desperate for a wide receiver. And I'm not sure eight is the perfect spot for either. Because they're not going to get Tannehill. They're probably not going to get Justin Blackman. And it may be too high for the number two receiver, Michael Floyd. So they're going to look to move around. I expect a lot of wheeling and dealing in the top ten this year. So when you look at a mock draft, keep in mind, it might be inaccurate because the teams might not be picking where you think.